was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Brenda Lynn and today we are building this Botanical Gardens in San Manchuto Valley. Um, excuse my voice, I am still getting over a cold. But I so much, I, I don't, I love this build you guys. I know I say that about every single build but I just, I love them all so much. And that intro video come on now that song was the first song I listened to and it was absolutely perfect like it matched the video so well because like what I do is like I record the video first well like I go and I like record the video while I'm taking screenshots like I just do a bunch of different animations and kind of see what I like and then I like edit it into a video that's like a story of how I want the build to be represented kind of like how I the story I see in my head as I'm building I guess and then I go and find the music and it looks like I found the music and then made the music video but that's definitely not the case but okay so I started off with just like your standard conservatory build and I used the romantic gardens windows on the bottom mosquito stuff pack on the top um, I end up taking off that little roof nub in a little bit because when I put it on a foundation it no longer wanted to clip correctly so I had to take it off and I just used the black spandrel I don't use the little white and blue thing unfortunately but inside we do like a bunch of different little ecosystems um, and this is kind of fast it's as slow as I could get it this is actually the second time I'm uploading this to YouTube because the first time rendered absolutely way too fast you could not see what I was doing and also it rendered with a really weird audio glitch so <laughs> I re-edited this entire video on a different software slowed it down a little bit took some things out and I'm re-uploading it and I did all of this within like 24 hours so I've literally sat here and worked my way through 24 hours of footage down to 25 minutes twice in 24 hours <laughs> likely I speed my footage up as I edit so it really wasn't a big deal but if if you saw this video and then you didn't see it and then it's back in your subscription feed that's why anyways this is like a cute little fish pond I figured this side of the conservatory is gonna be kind of like flowers it's like the the flower side or like the annual perennial whatever kind of side of this uh, botanical conservatory so I put a lot of the romantic I use all the romantic garden sculptures and then I just make like actual flower beds around them um, in the middle we kind of do like the tropical trees and like more of like a tropical rainforest type of thing and then on the other wing is like the North American plants um, so you see here I don't show I took a lot of the landscaping out like I left some in so you guys could get a gist of what I was doing and then like <laughs> a lot of it I took out because I did like I did say this took me 20 hours 20 plus hours to build and trying to get that to fit in a in a video that isn't warp speed into 30 minutes is really really rough but I think it turned out really good I'm actually really glad I redid this video because I think the it turned out way better. You guys can actually keep up with what I'm doing. So 
at least a little bit. Trust me, the other one was real rough. So this is what I'm talking about. I kind of cut some of this stuff out just to kind of keep it short. Because if I had to show you guys every little plant, we would be here for 20 hours. So <laughs> um, I swapped these trees out here in a second. These, the ivy palm trees. And I use the Solani plants because they have, they're like bigger and bushier and they fill out the top of the conservatory better, which I really love. And I use the col the mossy columns. I just, I don't know. Like, can, just watching this video, can't you feel the humidity and like the warmth and the happiness that you would feel walking into the doors, right? Like, isn't this just like the happiest place? I love gardens like being around the fresh air of the plants and like the warmth of conservatories always makes me so happy but I kid you not I cannot keep a plant alive to save my life to save my life like if someone was like keep this plant alive or you're gonna die like this plant is your lifeline I would die like if I was beast in Beauty and the Beast I would have been dead a long time ago because I can't keep a plant alive. I can't even keep fake plants looking nice. Like they get all dusty and and then I try and clean them and then they get all wrinkly. I'm not a plant person. I really want to be, but I just, I kill succulents. Like I'm, I'm the worst. But in Sims, I can make my plants look really pretty. See? <laughs> anyway, so like I said, this is like our tropical part. I put another fish pond in my brain. Like, I didn't actually use the debug fish in here. Um, I didn't want to have to struggle with it because I've never done it before and I didn't know. I, it was just like an added element I did not really want to deal with. But you can totally add them in in your game. Um, I figured that like every fish pond would be like fish or water animals from that culture ecosystem. You know what I mean? Because like in real botanical gardens, a lot of places they have fish pond or koi ponds because uh, fish poo is um, very, what's the word? What's, what's that word? Um, excuse the noise in the back. My husband, I think, is changing the laundry and my closet borders the laundry. Anyways, it's very um, beneficial to, to fish I mean, for plants to have fish poop. So I think that's why a lot of places have them. Also, they're just good to look at. Uh, but here's where I start doing the flower gardens. And um, I just use that fence. I don't, this fence. I don't know what it is. But I use this fence for everything. I use it a lot for flower beds. Always. I always use it as trim for like playgrounds or flower beds. Because it's like the perfect ledge height, you know. And then I use like the the wood flooring that we have in miscellaneous flooring. And I just start putting flowers everywhere. I try to make it look like it had a pattern. Um, I did like, you know, the bi flag, which I thought was really cute. And then uh, over here, I'm just chucking as many colors and plants to make it like different heights and like definitely covering as much as the ground as possible. Uh, and then, can we just talk about those shadows? Those shadows drive me nuts. I think it started because of platforms, but certain plants inside are shadowed now, and it it's only a couple of them. Like those really cool tall ones that I tried to put in here, um, those don't work, and the trees, like the size down trees don't want to work inside right. But I left this tree in here anyways because it was just like too perfect in this spot not to keep it so we're just gonna deal with the weird shadow um and then I put the dancer statue because it looks really cool from like far away and I did like a really cool row of hydrangeas of like all the different types of hydrangeas and I would love to just have a hydrangea bush like I live in the pacific northwest and we have so many hydrangea bushes here and they're so beautiful but I am like super allergic to flower and like to flowers and pollen and it really really sucks it really sucks like I would I just you know as an admirer of flowers that can't enjoy them enjoy them it's just you know it's a rough life out here anyways another thing I learned doing this build is if you have a weird spot and you can't make it look right put a rock or a statue there <laughs> that's what I found uh, okay, so here we're doing like this little topiary Dr. Seuss planter. 
And so I kind of just put those flowers in and change all the colors. And then I add the really fun like bubble tree that we have in game. And it like, it just, it looks very Dr. Seussy to me. And then I add our sitting benches. And then in this part, you didn't see it, it kind of jumped a little bit. But I went through and added plaques and up lighting to every display. Because like if it was a botanical garden, they would have the little signs out that tells you like what the plants are and where they're from and how you take care of them or like whatever. And I just think that those like little bits of realism in Sims builds is what pushes it over the top. So this is our North American uh, planter, if you will. And it's going to jump a little here too because this planter took me a really long time to figure out. But I ended up doing a lot of like ivy ground coverings and then uh, like reds and yellows. Because I wasn't trying to have everything be purple. We have a lot of purple plants in The Sims. So like pink and purple. I was trying to get some other colors. So I kind of did white, red, and orange in this one. Um, and then I put the little woodchuck and the well in. And I think it's really cute. Behind there I do like this lazy river-esque kind of thing where it's like, um, it's, I was trying to put, see if I could put like a pond and make it look natural, but I couldn't make it work. So I, I end up putting like this really cool L-shaped pond in there with a fountain. And I figured like there might be some fish in here or something, like maybe some trout or pike or like, you know, North American fish, maybe like not piranhas or like piranhas who knows I don't know maybe those would be in the jungle pond maybe but like would you have an open container of piranhas just chilling where people could fall into them probably not huh I heard piranhas aren't as vicious as people think they are anyways okay <laughs> so I I kind of did like the standard pond decoration I really wanted to make like the wall of water work somewhere in this build but I took it out every single time because it was just like too much for this build and I didn't want to cover the windows but then I cover the windows with these plants anyways so what's the point then I do these really cool stone uh chess tables and I use the wooden chairs from the magic the Roman magic pack and I think it looked really cute and this little top balcony part I figured like you'd go up there I saw a picture of like a conservatory with a balcony in Pinterest and it just like spoke to my heart. So I make like a little lunch spot up here where like you can go and like look at the plants or just sit there and like sit in the warmth of the sun. But then like you can also like look down on the plants. I don't know. I think it's really cute. And I put like vegetable, the vegetable planters up here. So maybe they grow like sustainable, sustainable plants up here. I don't know. Uh, and then I also put like a flower car. I put a bunch of hanging baskets. And it's like the little bistro set. Because, like, at the bottom of the hill, you know, there's all those um, food carts. So you could totally, like, get your food from a food cart and maybe have your sim bring it up here. I don't know if that's going to really work. But in my eyes, that's how it would be. Or maybe you, like, brought your lunch or that you got a cup of coffee or something. I would love to put a coffee place in here, but you can't. So that's it for the inside and then outside I do this really cool Japanese or like Asian I guess it would be more Asian inspired because it's a mix of Asian culture um, pond slash garden area. This is really what inspired this entire build is I wanted to do a garden like this because um, it, where I live in the Pacific Northwest we have a lot of botanical gardens and every single one of them has an uh, Asian inspired botanical garden and I love it so much um I'm also Asian I don't look it but I am Filipino and my grandpa always grew up with like bonsai trees and like little bonsai gardens that he would have like little figurines in and so it, like reminds me of my family you know and this is honestly my favorite part of the entire build it turned out so cute and the, well that's not true I have a couple favorite parts honestly there's a lot of ah, I sound so full of myself but like I really I wish I could go here you know and then I do like the really cool zen garden and I decided when I was building it I switched it sides but I have the little sleepy monkey isn't he so cute 
He's so cute. I put him on a bed of moss and I cover the whole back, like I fill the backspace with bamboo and I think it turns out looking really fun. Oh, and the bridge over the pond isn't functional, like your sims can't walk over that bridge, which really sucks because it's a debug item, but um, this whole lot is functional so they can run around it and still get there, like they can run through the plants and stuff, so it's still super functional without being irritating. And the funny thing is the Sims will run through this giant rock. Like, they can't walk on the bridge, but they can run through that giant rock right there. Um, and I put, like, cute little, the cute little stone, um, like, house lanterns on top of that stone and make it, like, I don't, isn't that so cute? I thought that was, like, the cutest touch. But, yeah, here's his little bed of moss, sleepy little monkey boy. And then we have, like, disapproving uncle monkey over here sitting, chilling. And then I put this guy in, uh, I put that guy in there. Oh, the video got a little weird. Um, I put that guy in there though, right? And he, the actual like mascot guy shows up in the video. It's the funniest thing. Hopefully that slowdown is just because of the rendering. If not, um, I'm sorry about that. If, like, you guys saw it go really slow just then, um, I'm not gonna go back in and fix it. It was, like, super short, so <laughs> hopefully it was just on my computer's end and it wasn't for you guys. Um, but yeah, so here I do, like, a little fountain in the middle and the, this part looks so cool at night. So for this build, I kind of took inspiration from multiple different conservatories online, like famous conservatories around the world, and kind of mash them all into one. And I think this little spot is really cool, especially at nighttime. Like the back end of this build looks so cool at nighttime. Like the outside part is definitely way better at night with all the lights, which you guys saw in that front, vi in the like machinima I made at the beginning. But I just put some benches in here and then some lanterns with some flower baskets, some potted trees and some potted flowers. And then I light the whole thing up and it's really, really like vibey, you know? And then on the walkway to this part, I put another fountain and like I do the, like the small wall of fountain, you know? And um, I think it turns out really, really cute. Like, I just think the back of this build looks so flipping good. Right, I'm going to cough real fast. Excuse me. Okay. Um, but like the back of this build is really, really cute. And like the stairs going around the fountain, I think it would just be like really cool to walk out here. And like, maybe you could like Tr transition this space and have like your sims have a wedding back here and set up chairs somewhere I originally I was going to make the fountain space a wedding space but I, I figured if this was like a real botanical garden you wouldn't have like a set up wedding space constantly you know what I mean so you would just like find a place to have the wedding so hopefully you can just like find a place to have the wedding <laughs> if you choose to have a wedding here. There is a little bit of a gap in the grass behind the fountain, but honestly, the only function of this lot is to look pretty. It's essentially a park, but all there is is the chess tables. So I kind of took the functionality out of the lot for San Manchino, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's That's what's important, right? Is how beautiful it is. I guess you could add a conservatory. I didn't think about it until like just the second that I probably should have added like the, obs not conservatory, like an ob observatory, which there's totally room on the sides. You could totally, like if you put this in your game and you want it to be more functional, you could totally put one of the, um, the, star things the observatories on the side and then you can you know look at the size and then it's not as useless you could also put monkey bars like there is space there is space to add stuff excuse me my throat is so dry I've had a cold all week and um talking for 30 minutes is really just you know 
putting putting the stress on my throat. But it's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Uh, okay, and then this is my other favorite part of this build. And this is like a little wedding arch. Like, it's I use the arches from Sulani. But they make like this plant arch. And I saw this picture on Pinterest too. Honestly, everything I do is inspired by Pinterest. Am I original? No. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, so I use the dogwood trees from Brindleton Bay and then I use, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. The dogwood trees are Brindleton Bay. Those arches are Brindleton Bay and debug. And then, uh, the Sulani arches. And let me tell you, those, th those arches for Sims pictures are so good. Excuse me drinking. I will cough up a lung if I don't. Okay. And then I do like a nod to Sulani over here. I use the Sulani bushes and I have the cool little whale coming. Like he's like splashing out of the earth, which I thought was cool. Cause like, I really like it, living sculptures. So this whole part, I figured we do like living sculpture part of a botanical garden. So I have like the poodle, I have all the grass statues or like the hedge statues out. And then Eventually, I put a bathroom over here. I use, like, the cool little pre-made cottagey bathroom that looks florally. And again, some more hydrangeas because, like I said, I love them. Can't be around them, but love them. And then um, the little mom. I did, like, a mother, daughter, or big elephant, little elephant um, statue there. I thought it was like a really cute touch. Here I'm making like a cute little picnic area. There's benches in front of the whale. Uh, and I figured you would just like come and like eat some sandwiches. I probably should have put a bee box in. Now that I think about it, I definitely should have put some bugs and some bee boxes, but I didn't even think about it. So if you put it in your game, put some bugs and some bee boxes because like, why would you have all these beautiful flowers and not have that? I forgot they existed while I was building this build. Brilliant. Anyways. <laughs> uh, over here I do this really cool tr picnic area on this tree. And let me tell you something. This cute little picnic area, your sims can lay next to this tree and stargaze. They can't actually use the towel. But they can lay here and stargaze and it makes for really cute pictures. You guys saw it. But that brings us to the end. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, share this video if you want to. Check back in. I upload uh, normally Tuesdays and Fridays. And follow me on Twitch because I stream there Mondays and Thursdays if you want more Sims content. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you for sticking with me on my delays this week. I got super sick and just couldn't record. But have a great week. I will see you guys here for the next one. I think our next build is going to be a ski lodge. So enjoy the pictures and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind.